President Trump's impeachment trial is wrapping up. A big question is, what did his supporters think of the scandal? Well, our own Jordan Klepper went on the road to find out. Last week, I went to tropical Iowa, again. And while all eyes there have been on the Democratic candidates, a certain recently impeached former reality TV star showed up in town to get his own cup of Iowa nice. Trump train, choo-choo, Trump train, choo-choo. It's just awesome. I just <laughs> love it. Yeah, MAGA. <laughs> oh, shit. I've had nightmares of that show. <laughs> been to a Trump rally before? No, sir. What are your expectations? Truth. Truth. At a Trump rally? Yeah. Good luck. However, all anyone's been talking about is the impeachment. And while 69% of Americans wanted to hear from witnesses like John Bolton, Senate Republicans wouldn't allow it. So what did these folks think of the trial as it nears its end? I think the impeachment trial itself is a joke, period. It's a shit show. We think it's a complete sham. He what? hasn't done anything wrong. How did we get here with no evidence? He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Didn't do anything they were right? well said. Well, that's it, right? He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. So we should let everybody testify. Correct. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. No. 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 Do you think John Bolton should testify? No. Why not? Well, he could testify, but I think he's uh, vengeful for getting fired from his job. I think he's a liar. John Bolton's a liar. Absolutely. There should be a system set up where he takes an oath and then under oath he tells the truth, otherwise he's punished. I think there should be, yes. And maybe there's a judge who's put in charge, like the highest judge in the land. Right. Appointed by a Republican. And then we could all see what he has to say. Would you be for a system like that? Sure. While they seem to want first-hand information from witnesses, they definitely didn't want witnesses with first-hand information. Regardless, they're sticking to Trump's favorite old defense. I've read the transcript for, verba not verbatim, but I've read the transcript, meaning like I've watched everybody read it on the news. I that, haven't that, seen the transcript. You know that's not what reading the transcript means. But you've watched people read the transcript. Right, I haven't personally read the transcript. Have you read the transcript? No. <laughs> it is, I, I have, spoiler alert, he asked a foreign country to interfere in our election. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's you know what? I've explored this one before. But luckily, Trump has two or five new airtight legal defenses. There's no, whatever that word is, quid pro quo. <laughs> My lips are cold. It, it's, it's hard to say. Right. <laughs> it's even, even harder to convince other people that new it word, happened. New word I just learned, yeah. There's no crime that's been, um, there's no a crime that he's been accused of. They've what does that mean? What? What do you, what do you mean? They have not making an accusation or um, brought an actual uh, penal code. Um, yeah. You can tell he hasn't done anything wrong just by uh, his demeanor. I mean, he would be trying to hide things. If he were blocking witnesses or evidence or something like that, you'd be like, oh, you're hiding something. But right. otherwise. Right. He's returns. saying, let him, let him see everything. Let him see everything. I'll prove whatever you want want me to prove. Right, but Trump is blocking witnesses. I don't care. Oh, but we were saying earlier that if you're blocking something, it shows that you have something to hide. Didn't Obama hide his birth certificate? He did, and Trump found that thing, and it said he was an American citizen. Yeah. I know, so, so. so who's got egg on their face? Yeah. <laughs> you know, who has egg on their face? Well. So what do these supporters see in our impeached president's future? They're gonna uh, impeach him again. Is there gonna yeah, be another I, impeachment? I, 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 probably all the way till for five more years. Did you feel the impeachment was a distraction? Not at all, I don't think. He's got uh, skin that is, is about as thick as it gets. Donald Trump is? Yeah, thick skin. He's thick skin. He gets mad if a celebrity makes fun of him on Twitter. Well, the, uh, um, it's good. I, I like his tweetings. He should take a victory lap. It should have already happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what should he do? Alan Dershowitz got OJ off. OJ wrote a book. Dershowitz gets Trump off. Trump yeah. reads a book. Uh, I mean, he can do whatever he wants. Let's say it happens tomorrow. Trump right. beats impeachment. Trump can get on to running the country. Exactly. Like he like he has been doing for the past three and a half years now. I mean, and now with, uh, with like no impediments, no checks, no balances. Exactly. They need to have like more restrictions on who can just 
come up with articles for, for impeachment when nothing's been done. Who's in Donald Trump's way going forward? The only people that would be in his way are other Republicans trying to get in office. Yeah, he's finally, he's evolved this presidency it's, into a dictatorship that we could all understand. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Do these folks care at all about our president declaring himself absolute ruler? I think I might know the answer. I don't care. Exactly. Throw the step everybody.